Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today, let's make another lightning die. I've done a couple of these. The first time it turned out pretty good, but I wanted a little bit more of a lightning shape. So the second time I made a little too much of a lightning shape and I ended up with a lightning snake. So this time I thought I would try to draw on a shape that I like and then just fan fold that shape. I had to do a quick glove change and get a pair of gloves that's a little bit smaller. Now I'm gonna fan fold the line and I'm gonna tie it with some sinew. I've drawn a couple of lines on here, but I'm kind of picking the one that I like the best. Now I'm gonna tie the line with some sinew. The sinew is wax coated and whenever I tie this line and pull it really tight, it's gonna form a waterproof barrier that's not gonna allow the dye underneath that area. So the space underneath the sinew line is gonna remain white. For my setup, I have a metal drying rack and I've placed a piece of vinyl guttering upside down on the metal rack so that the flat side of the guttering is up. Then I've draped the shirt over the top of the guttering. I've also placed a plastic container down below so that it catches any of the runoff from the ice and dye. I'm only going to use two colors on this shirt. On one side of the sinew line, I'm using the dark side from Dye Spin. And on the other side, I'm gonna use brushed steel from Dharma. Over the top of the dye, I'm going to add a little bit more dry soda ash because I'm going to add quite a bit of ice to the top of this shirt. And I want to make sure I have plenty of soda ash remaining in the shirt to react with the dye. Then I'm going to place a small wire basket over the top of the shirt and add on a layer of ice. It was still 100 degrees outside the day that I did this shirt, so the ice was melting within just a few minutes. So I kept coming back and adding more and more layers of ice, trying to get the dye to go all the way to the edges of the fabric. The dark side did really well. The brush steel didn't move and go quite as far on the shirt. So I actually came back and added just a little bit more of the brush steel dye and a little bit more soda ash and continued adding ice. I've added a bunch of photos so that you can kind of see how the dye progressed down the shirt as time went on.
After a while, I finally figured that I don't think that the brushed steel is going to actually travel as far on the shirt as the dark side did. So I just went ahead and left the shirt alone. I let it process and took it to rinse it out. I started rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. After rinsing in cold water for a while, I gradually warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to try to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Somewhere in there, I went ahead and untied the shirt and then just continued rinsing until the water was running almost clear. Then I put the shirt, along with some of Dharma's professional textile detergent, into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. So now the shirt has been washed, dried, and ironed, and this is how it looks. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think this one looks really cool. I'm really happy with the fact that the brushed steel didn't go all the way down this shirt. And I like the shape that I drew on this shirt. It looks a little more like a zigzag rather than lightning, but I think it's a cool shape on the shirt. I also really like the colors. I've used the dark side from Dye Spin before, but I don't think I've ever used it by itself, and I really didn't know what to expect. I just wanted a couple of darker colors on this shirt, so I honestly just kind of grabbed them off of my shelf and paired them together, and I'm really happy with them. The Dye Spin is bleeding kind of a really dark teal blue green color, and I think that looks really pretty. And then, of course, the brush steel has a little bit of that purpley tinge to it, which looks really cool too. It also has some dark green tealish color in it too. I really like the fact too that the brush steel did not go a long ways down the shirt. Initially, I was a little concerned I was going to be disappointed with the way it looked, but I really love it. I think it looks really cool. Um... It's really dark right up next to the line, which makes sense because that's where I put the dye. But then it's just really wispy on either side of the line. The bottom portion where I put the dark side from Dye Spin, it almost looks like smoke. It just kind of wisps out into nothingness and it looks really cool. The white line is awesome too. It's not a solid white line. It has like little breaks in it. It almost looks like little beads or something. It's kind of a cool look. I like it. So I don't necessarily know that it looks like lightning, but I do like the design and the line on the shirt. And I definitely love the way that the dye moved and the color splits on the shirt. But what do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below and let me know. And if you all have enjoyed watching me make this shirt, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.